return to breaking news here in Lancaster where a man is barricaded inside a home at a mobile home park with a baby. Eyewitness News reporter Leo Stallworth is live in Lancaster with more. Leo. We are not too terribly far from the scene. This barricade situation has been ongoing for the last eight hours. I'm here with Deputy Miguel Mesa, who wants to make a direct appeal to the suspect who's probably watching Eyewitness News right now. Sir, what do you want to say to that suspect who's holding his infant son inside of the trailer with him at gunpoint, correct? Yes, that's correct. Fernando, uh, we have crisis negotiators here on scene. We have deputy personnel who want to help you, who want to make sure that your baby is safe. Uh, please talk to us. We want to communicate with you. We've been trying to communicate for the last six hours. Um, I know you don't have your cell phone and you've made attempts to contact us. Um, you put up a sign on your window and we're aware that your cell phone is inside your vehicle, which you don't have access to. If you have a landline, call 911. Your call will be transferred to the Lancaster Sheriff's Station and then we'll be able to communicate that way. We want to communicate with you. We can. Uh, we have a throw phone available. We can throw inside that window. You pick up that phone. You'll communicate with our crisis negotiators. Please, Fernando. We want to establish that communication, and we want to make sure that you and your baby are safe. And again, that appeal going out directly to the suspect from the sheriff's department. They want him to give himself up peacefully. Again, this barricade situation ongoing for the last eight hours or so. Here's the backstory on how this all unfolded. Here's more. An armed suspect barricaded inside a mobile home with an infant in Lancaster. L.A. County Sheriff Department hostage negotiators attempting to talk the suspect out. This unfolding on the heels of a pursuit starting on the 14 freeway in Santa Clarita. CHP saying officers spotting a white Kia SUV speeding over 130 miles per hour just before midnight. The pursuit continuing into the Antelope Valley where shots were fired. At approximately 12.47 a.m., uh, the suspect shot at our officers uh, at or around 17th Street East and Avenue Q. No officer was hit, nor uh, equipment was damaged. Officers saying the suspect getting to the mobile home park, dashing out of the vehicle with the infant near Avenue I and 26th Street East. The suspect exited the vehicle with the infant child, had the handgun pointed to the infant's uh, head and slowly walked away from our officers. He entered the mobile home and barricaded himself in the mobile home. Did he enter his residence or did he enter someone's home he did not know? The suspect entered his residence. He entered his residence with the baby. Was there anyone else inside of the residence? As far as we know, the only people in the residence uh, are the suspect and the infant. And they're still inside? Yes. CHP saying LA County Sheriff deputies have taken over the tent standoff and they've been in contact with the suspect along with the man's family trying to encourage him to give himself up peacefully. Fernando, um, please get out of the house. Please, I want to see you. I want to see the baby. You, you okay? Please, think of your mom and your dad and your sister and your brother, Fernando, for, please. And again, you just saw a family member in tears pleading with the suspect uh, identified as Fernando to please give himself up and give himself up peacefully. Uh, Deputy Mesa wanted to wrap this up by making another direct appeal because they really want this guy to give himself up without anyone getting hurt, in particularly that infant. That's right. Fernando, this is a tactical and rapidly fluid situation, but we want you to know that we are here to protect you and your baby. We want to have a peaceful surrender, and we're here to communicate with you and establish a good relationship, and uh, we want to see that you and your baby come out safe. Thank you, sir, so much. Uh, hopefully, Fernando will give himself up. And Fernando, if you're watching, please give yourself up. Think about your child, right? Think about your child. So this barricade situation, eight hours in, and it continues. It is tense. Hopefully, it ends peacefully. Live in Lancaster, Leo Star with ABC 7 Eyewitness News. Back to you, folks. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Get more great ABC7 content by clicking the subscribe button for our YouTube channel and download the ABC7 Los Angeles streaming app on Fire TV, Android TV, Apple TV, and Roku to watch on your TV.